Wait, let me have wine. <laughs> <laughs> I spent one of those days. So let's just kind of run down uh, the whole scenario, right? So let's start with spray uh, the spray bottle. So in my experience with the spray bottle, what it was really easy to get it started up and going. Because remember when we were, uh, you know, talking in the video, we were reading through the manual and we're tra trying to figure out how we're supposed to make this thing start up. Salt. We put a little bit of salt in it, shook it up, sprayed everything through, mm -hmm. and then started using it. We've not had to add any salt since mm -hmm. then. No. It just it just goes. And I filled it up numerous a times, lot. honestly. Yeah. Now. I love the spray bottle. It does work. I used it on Butterscotch's bed the other day because yep. it was stinker, and it took small away. Well, I mean, really she's did. a big, she's a big stinky sixty-five pound dog, so it's it's like that. Mm. One of the other things that I really liked with it was that um, we can go into the bathroom and spray down the walls of the shower yes. and the uh, the base of the shower, and none of the mold and mildew stuff ever even starts to try and grow there. Uh, just by spraying it down regularly and then when we started working on other projects around the house and we didn't do that for a few weeks then we started yeah. seeing the mold and mildew show up yeah and the grout yep mostly. so so i know that this was actually just by passively spraying it on there and, and doing nothing else that it was doing a cleaning job for us i love how easy it is and it's literally just tap water the yep. only thing i don't like about it and this is just a personal thing is that back over here is where the max line is and then this is where you put mm -hmm. the water in well you can't really put the water in without tilting it sideways like this so i figured out where to put where the water needs to be this way to meet it up here i think that the maxwell line should be over here at an angle because yep. you're going to tilt it i agree to go underneath your faucet yep i agree i actually was thinking that they should take this line that's right here, yes. and there should be a line like it swoops, a, a drawn all the yeah. way around it, showing you know max fill, and then people would know whether they were level or not. Yes. And then when you stand it up, it's at the right line. Right. More than once, I overfilled it and then opened up the top. Yeah, and you, you out. gotta. So. I mean, I, I didn't want to chance I don't know, I don't know what would go wrong if we overfilled. Yeah. It, so. So that's that's yeah. one of the things that. I think should be a change yep. just to make it easier for the consumer to not go over that Maxwell line. 100% agree. And I also think that they should have a, a charging light on it that's showing when it's full rather than oh, what's right. on the charger. Yes, because too. because ours, in this case, that plug is down here. Well, and or it, under the cabinet. Or under the cabinet. And for other people, they may be putting that plug permanently somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and it may be somewhere where they don't see the charger itself. And right. so I think an indicator on the yeah. unit itself would be a good uh, you know, addition to have. I mean, they've got lights up top here for when, for, you're, using for when you're using it. So when it's yep. on and it's telling you that it's working, the check mark will light up blue. Yep. And if it's not, then you get the big red X. So it doesn't make sense to me why they can't also add another light here for charging. Yep, Ch charging and charged. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's very But easy. other than that, it's been fantastic because anytime we get anything onto this countertop, just oh, yeah. spray it down on here, wipe it all off, and it's been fine. We haven't had any problems mm -hmm. there. And, uh, you know, as a side note with you baking your breads and all the other stuff, and so we are pulling out bread and cutting and all that, mm -hmm. if we weren't working with a clean surface, that bread would start molding really yeah. easily and really quickly. <laughs> and uh, you know, we don't have that problem. And so we know that we're, we're getting that stuff gone. I will say the first couple times that I actually cleaned with this on this countertop, this island specifically, um, my handy dandy shark cloth, because you know, yeah. I'm one of those people, uh, came out black. And yeah. now when we moved into this house, we required it to be professionally clean based on the condition that it was in when he saw it, not me. Um, and it was not very clean. And the fact that they professionally cleaned it and then I came back with just water, you know, aqueous ozone water, and it, it took me a couple of passes of a cloth like this yeah. for it to not be black. But it's been fantastic with just, helping us clean up yeah. all of those other spaces and some of the some of the, the dirt, the must, the smells that were in this house. Are gone. We we had already started uh, sterilizing parts of the house with 
uh, an ozone generator, as it was, not an O3 waterworks thing, but an, uh, an aerial ozone generator. Yeah. But then when we've had to go back and clean other surfaces directly, using this has done a really good job of getting rid of some of those smells and some of the junk. So overall, I think that this thing is a really good investment. Oh, yeah. uh, that I think it would be worth it for people to own one. I would like one other but one. <laughs> I would, but I would like the changes that we were talking about yeah. to end up in a future version of it, just because I think it makes it easier to use for somebody. If you leave it on for, I want to say a few minutes, it basically kills all of the bacteria that's on yeah. it, which is really great when you have kids. And um, it's easier to put on a doorknob that yeah. won't tarnish or strip the finishing yeah, and, or whatever. And as far as I know, they still don't have any testing against specific viruses, but all the stuff that we talked about in the previous right. videos of it killing the uh, you know staff, it killing yeah, all those list. other bacteria and all those other things. And that, that's third party testing that they that do. does that does as good mm -hmm. as almost any other household cleaner. Mm -hmm. And then we do have the you know uh, hospital grade disinfectant stuff for when we have to. Yeah. When sickness comes to the house, when we go to super cleaning mode or, you know, things of that sort, uh, we have those other things that are above and beyond. But for everyday cleaning, this has been fantastic. Well, then it's cheaper because it's coming right out of your tap. Yeah. Like you're not having to go to the store. And a little bit of electricity here and right. there. Right. Yeah. And you're not having to go to the store and rebuying more chemicals that if you actually read the label, you're not supposed to inhale. You're yeah. supposed to use gloves and have all this other safety stuff that, that nobody ever does. Let's, let's be honest. Majority of people don't follow who, that. Don't read the instructions. Who puts on full PPE to go, to go wipe down their counters? Well, right? to go clean a bathroom. Yeah. You know, or, or whatever. So I, mm. I think this is, this is a great product. Couple changes just to make it slightly better. And you know, honestly, I would love another one. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So the laundry system. Yeah. Uh, so there's the, the, the video uh, that's already come up mm -hmm. that uh, is showing the installation and um, yeah. I know that I know that there's going to be some other video pieces uh, the, uh, that go along with this as part of a series of reviewing right. uh, these products. But the laundry system itself, the installation went really well. Mm -hmm. It was it was really easy to do for anybody who knows how to install anything for a washer. So if you don't know how to move your washer around or how to make sure that you're tightening everything the right way or how to find a stud to be able to mount things or make sure that you don't run a screw into your pipes, have somebody, oh, that, is, yeah, have somebody <laughs> that is a contractor uh, to do it for you um, or a handyman easily could do that for you. Of course, make sure that there's somebody that's insured uh, so that if they put a hole in one of your pipes and you suddenly have a flood that you're taken <laughs> care of there. That aside, I'm a little more handy than some other people. So for me, no big deal. Yes, I put a bracket on backwards, but whatever, it was easy to fix. Oh, that's fine. We have since moved the the unit because we we've, we've rearranged the laundry room. And so there's going to end up being some footage that, that ends up in showing it a little different because we went from a top loader uh, sorry, we went from a front, front loader, loader to a top loader. Yes. Now, with the front loader, let's go through the experience there. Um, I would say it works okay with a front loader. It does work, but since, you know, with, with the front loaders, you don't get a ton of water like you do with top loaders. You get a couple gallons to clean your clothes. And... At, the, at most. At, yeah, at most, for, for most. Now, if you put it on like heavy duty and you, you up everything, then yeah, you're going to get more water than that. But honestly, with a normal size thing, you're just going to get a couple gallons because it's high efficiency. It's to save yeah. you money. It's supposed to work without all the water. But the, the thing about the aqueous ozone is that if you can get your clothes, clothes or whatever submerged, it works 10,000 yeah. times better. Because so, there's more water, there's yep. more of the, the aqueous ozone in there, and you don't have to necessarily pre-treat like you would have to with a front loader. Yep. So, so that's my experience. So, I, so with, with for, for, for me, yeah. Um, yeah, I wear these cotton t-shirts when I'm doing all the work around the house. And since we have mentioned that this house was in bad condition when we bought it, there's been a lot of work. I've been doing work <laughs> outdoors, been doing work indoors, some of it has been you know, landscaping, construction, painting, all kinds of other stuff, right? 
I've and, and and <laughs> with 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 the the clothes that I was wearing mm -hmm. um, before we did the, uh, the the changeover to the laundry system, when I put them on, as soon as I started to heat up and warm up, oh, I, I it would start bringing the smell back immediately mm -hmm. because in the cotton t-shirts that bacteria and stuff was never yeah. coming out. Uh, and once we moved over to using the laundry system with, with the O3, um, I would put them on and the shirt stayed new and crisp smelling mm -hmm. until it was me that was stinky, right? Because let's, let's be honest, it's, well, but I, I don't think I got as bad in the clothes that have been washed that way, even if they were really old, worn out clothes that have been yeah. done a lot. Um, so I think it was killing all that. However, um, I really needed to put a little bit of laundry soap in yeah. with everything that I was doing. And I think it came down to the high efficiency just didn't have enough water mm -hmm. to do the whole job. It would either do wash the clothes with the detergent or it would just kill the bacteria. And like I said, you would have to pre-treat your stains. Yeah. Now, pre-treating isn't a bad thing. Yeah. Like, it's, it's really not. Pre-treating helps boost and get stuff clean. But I just don't feel with a front loader that it worked as well yeah. as it does with our top loader. Now, another thing that it did do really well, that we had that front loader for a really long time. And there's... Um, Five years? One of, one of the shirts that I wear for work, uh, one, one of the, the polo shirts that I wear for work, well, not a polo, but whatever. Um, there was a, actually a little bit of an oil food stain that was yes, right here. I remember that. That it never could get out. It was not noticeable enough that I threw away the shirt. I just <laughs> wore it anyway because I'm cheap like that, right? Um, but I couldn't get it out. Even like uh, Dawn dish soap on it and, and rubbing and all that, it never would fully come out. And then with the front loader, with the O3 Waterworks, it went away. Yeah, it So, I mean, work. it did really, really good at doing that job, but I don't think it did... As good well, as like if you have like a big stain, yeah. a big issue and that you you would have to pre-treat for sure with a front and, lighter. And with the cloth diapers, um, it just yeah. could not do the it, job. It, it it took away the stink. Now yeah. I, the, the barnyard stink, yeah. smell that that when you're using either too much detergent or your your cloth diapers yeah. are just not getting clean for for whatever reason, it took that smell away. It took away all of all that. Yeah, but it wasn't the, good to the stains. The stains, yeah. I had to pre-treat the stains, and then I, you know, with cloth diapers, you wash twice, and I would have to pre-treat for the pre-wash, and then I would treat again for the main wash, and it still just didn't clean with it. It took me several washes to yeah. do cleaner cloth diapers, but I mean, cloth diapers are hard to clean. Anyways, yeah, honestly. So then we rearranged the laundry room we did. where uh, the uh, front loader came out and went downstairs because we're setting up, uh, you know, for oh, we uh, didn't talk about the, the mildew ring. Oh no, we did. Yeah, so let's let, ring. Uh, let's talk about that. So on the on the front loader, almost every front loader ends up getting a lot of mildew that's yeah. around the front seal and all mildew, of that. Mildew, mold, whatever. And um, it seems like that it kind of killed the stuff that was there. Mm -hmm. So but I, uh, everything still stayed the same color from the stain of it and all that well, stuff. It, and and it did still have a little bit of it. Now, if we would leave, we got lighter. Yeah, I will say that it did get lighter, and maybe if we kept using it, it would yeah. take and, it. Yeah, and and uh, we didn't have the problem of uh, you know, oh, somebody closed the door on the front loader, mm -hmm. and then it stank so horrible that we had to sterilize it the next day to be able to even use it. We could, you know, wash clothes and leave them in there till the next day or even the day after, and they wouldn't stink or anything like that. That's we didn't true. have to rewash them. So true. we know that the mildews and stuff were gone. Yes. But that ring still. Yeah, that looked sealant ring bad. area still it it still had the black spots. Yeah. And if you have a front so, loader, you know what we're talking about when it comes to the black spots. Opinion with the top loader. I enjoy it. It to me it works better. Yeah. And I, ha I, you can smell the ozone like rain smell. Really strong. Really, really strong yep. with the top loader versus the front loader. Because there's a, a lot there's, more There's water. a lot more water. And I've noticed like our <coughs> towels. Our towels are softer. Yeah. 
Yeah. And they're they're more fluffy. To they me, they are. More, they, better, they absorb yeah. better if you use dryer sheets with your towel. Stop it. Stop it. You're yep. making them waterproof. Okay. You're making them waterproof. Don't do it. Yep. But to me, like the, the they do. They're fluffier. They're nicer. Um, I don't use detergent at all with our towels. Uh, period. Yep. I haven't, and it works. They just come out smelling so good like rain. Throw them in the dryer. They're yep. dry faster. And, and, and they're no, just, no moldy, they're just moldy problems or nope. any of that kind of stuff. And even and after you fantastic. use it, after any like if you take a shower in the morning, and then sometimes you know during the winter months your towel doesn't get dry, yep. and you kind of sometimes can get that mildewy kind of funky smell when you None go to go to re reuse it after, and it doesn't do that. It, it's gone. There yep. is nothing. Yeah, I'm really happy with it, especially with the the top loader. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you're saying, yeah, you know, there's. Uh, a very heavy concentration of that smell uh, of the, the ozone it's in the parent. laundry room. <laughs> uh, so you know that there's a lot more going on. While we're talking about that, let's go ahead and talk about the other thing of the times that were only a couple of them, but the, the, the couple of times where there was no ozone smell. Well, I wouldn't so, say that there was no ozone smell. Yeah. It, okay, so how the machine works is that you use cold tap water. Now, if you have to use warm water or hot water, they recommend you turning, you know, doing the bypass. Yep. Well, for some strange odd reason, our machine, sometimes it would start automatically with the aqueous ozone, and then other times it would take up to a minute or so yeah. of it pulling the water for it to start and turn on, yeah. which and is that, weird. And that only really started that's, somewhat recently. Yeah, that's and it in the last month. And it was it was an intermittent issue. Yeah, I didn't think anything of it. I thought, okay, well, I just ran a cycle. Maybe there was yeah. still some of the water still in there, and it just didn't need to turn on. So I don't know, but I reached out to the company. Yep. And you know, I sent them an email. Um, what was it like? Seven thirty at night. Something like that. Yeah, it was seven thirty night central. central. Yep. And I I sat there and I, I told them what was going on. I sent a little short video of me running a thing of it, the light turning on but no bubbles. And then, you know, 30 seconds later, you would see bubbles coming on, like it like it kicked on. Yeah. Well, I sent that, like I said, at 7.30, and Scott automatically called me within 10 minutes of me Scott pressing from sense. 03. From 03, yeah, yep. Scott from 03, um, called me within 10 minutes of me pressing send, and says, what's going on? <laughs> you know, I mean, 7.30 at night, middle of the week, I really didn't expect an, a phone call Yep. like that. I really only expected maybe expected an email, an email the, next day. the next morning, but I was just in complete shock. He walked me through some stuff. I sent him um, another video so that he could forward it to somebody else to see what was going on and see if it was something where, you know, it was a finicky wire or whatever, and they just replaced the system. They're like, we don't know what's going on. That shouldn't be doing this. You're right. It is kind of doing something kind of funky. Yep. And evidently, since it's kind of intermittent, they just replaced the machine. So and and no so, questions, just. So really, when it comes down to that, that right there, especially with the jobs that we've worked, we understand good oh, customer yeah. service and bad customer service, right? Oh, yeah. And and in this case, I see that as somebody that's going to stand behind their product oh, yeah. and offer really good customer service because they're reaching out to you after hours while you're having a problem, while you're running a load of laundry that you just sent so they can go ahead and be proactive. And then when it comes down to, oh, you didn't do something to break this thing. We don't know what's going on. We're gonna replace it. Yeah, and super responsive, super great customer service. And, and, and just out of nowhere, right after that, they sent a whole new box, which we haven't even opened yet. We wanted that to be as part of the, the the process here that we're talking about, good and bad. What do they need to improve? What do they have right? And in this case, uh, the laundry system works. It does. And and they and what's really good also is the customer service when something goes wrong. Yeah. And so while you're kind of running through a few more things, I was going to go ahead and open this thing up, and we're doing a mini unboxing as part of this of just showing you know a, that there is a brand new one that came, uh, you know. Uh, as a result of there being an issue. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's great to know that you could just send an email and get a response. And I was emailing back and forth with them a couple times to try to figure out for my front loader for my diapers. And, you know, super helpful company.
Yeah, this is a 100% new unit with a new yeah. mounting, everything. So they didn't send us some refurb used anything. This is a full new setup um, that I believe everything is the same stuff that we had before. Yeah, let's do uh, the same. I don't have a knife to open this. Remote, new remote control, new bracket hardware, everything. So, I uh, really, really big kudos to O3 Waterworks and their team there We're in, it right. in, in, in looking at the support side of this and what the customer needs. Uh, it, the, uh, you can't really ask for more than that. Oh, we're going to have to. Yeah. To what you call it? Um, Regen. Yes, thank you. We'll have to do that. So, um, would you recommend that people drop the money on this? The kit? The system, whatever you want. You to call mean it. the bundle? Yeah. Okay, because this is a bundle. You yep. can buy them separately, but you save money with a bundle. I think so. I mean, we don't have to use nearly, if we use detergent at all, as much as you used to. Yeah. I will say, this is another thing that I wanted to bring up. Um, since we stopped using detergent with it, the lint in the dryer is less. Yep. Be a lot less. Because yeah. the detergent, I don't know if people know this or not, when you use detergent and you wash your clothes, the detergent breaks down the fibers in your clothes. That's how you get um, holes in your shirts or you know really see-through material. And you end up with all of that material coming out in your dryer lint trap. And when you don't use detergent and you still get clean clothes, your clothes last longer, yeah. which is another savings. But um, now, let me ask you this. Out of these two products, which would you buy first? I, uh, <laughs> I think that really, if, you know, if you're doing the, Depends on your needs. which would you buy first, it comes down to your particular needs. And, and your budget. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, frankly, if you, you're doing the ask on that, you do a whole lot more of the laundry itself than I do. Mm -hmm. I do some laundry, but I don't do much. But I do a lot of the wipe up, clean around, and all that other stuff. So I use this more, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be, See. in my opinion, uh, you know, based on the tasks that I do, I would be buying the thing that I would need. Yes. Right? So that See, and then I would buy, personally for me, the laundry system to save on detergent yeah. alone because detergent, let's be yeah. honest, unless you buy it at a, a wholesale club, is super expensive yeah. and you go through it. So you would save money here with just detergent. Here you would save money but probably honestly in my opinion not as much as this would yeah. save you i think that it would only be fair for us to do a follow-up again yeah. at least in a few weeks uh talking about how this one performs of whether we notice any differences whether everything seems the same as when the other one was still working at its peak uh or anything else you know we may run into some kind of surprise that we don't know about so i think uh, we definitely should do a follow-up on this again and maybe a long-term follow-up on yeah. on how well it survives over the long term yeah i mean with the, i think so i i agree thank you for uh your time watching this uh and and you know we really appreciate uh if you would uh if you got any value out of this if you think that uh, there's anything good here please you know uh hit like a like the on video. That video thumbs up uh if you're looking at this series and any of the other stuff that we've been doing uh, that she's been working on with the sheets and there's a whole lot of other cool stuff coming as well. Yep. Uh, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of those things that are upcoming. Um, engage with us down in the comments. You know, every bit of engagement helps the algorithm, which be able uh, it helps us be able to get in front of more people and be able to have a larger audience. We really yep. appreciate that. This doesn't make us any money. This is our money that's being yeah. spent. Uh, so doing those things can help grow the channel to the point where maybe we, we end up having you know, a following, uh, you know, uh, to work with us. So we drop really any questions. It. Yeah, yeah, drop any questions about, you know, how this performs, what we think, you know, updates and so forth. Definitely. Yeah. I will answer. <laughs> yep. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.